Somebody need to buy like 30 laxative pills and put them in Zinchenko's Gatorade before every game so he can spend the match shitting in the locker room instead of shitting on the field. That man is ass. Every time Salah went one-on-one -on -one with him, I almost cried. Whose idea was this, bro? Put Kiwior out there or something. I don't know how he didn't get benched at halftime. He was out there taking bare back shots from Salah. Trent knows Zinchenko was mentally challenged too. That's why he kept tossing bombs down the field whenever he seen Salah one-on-one -on -one with him. Just slinging that shit. I swear to God, he's useless. I don't even want to look at the replays of that goal because that shit gonna make me mad. This is Kyrie Irving being guarded by a disabled nurse or home patient with one leg. This is Randy Moss lining up against a four foot six, twelve year old. This is LeBron James posting up Isaiah Thomas. Absurd ball by Trent, by the way. He's generally insane offensively. Salo was calling for ISOs like 2013 Mellow in the post. Tommy Yasu, just stay healthy for at least a couple months straight, please. I can't do this much longer. How many times has Zinchenko being asked led directly to us dropping points? Against Fulham, now against Liverpool, almost did it again against Wolves. We could have four more points if not for him, bro. I swear to God, he couldn't go out of traffic on. Deport his ass to Ukraine. Maybe they'll teach him a little something about defense. Okay, that was a little crazy. My fault. Offense supposed to be his speciality, and he over there losing a the ball in the midfield trying to do a hezzy cross with a football. He really think he Kyrie. This whole game was just bare chaos. I could even sit down in the second half, bruh. This is one of the most back and forth even games I've ever seen. In every stat, the two teams are almost identical. 13 shots to 13 shots. Three on target to two, 51% possession to 49, 438 passes to 418, 81% pass accuracy to 80, 13 fouls to 14, four corners to five. It was a draw in almost every way with Liverpool having a very slight advantage. Some of our players were great. Some of them shit the bed. I don't want to talk about Zinchenko anymore. That shit is going to make me mad. Martinelli looked ridiculous out there. Literally, what was he even doing? Completely missed one of our biggest chances of the game. Got bent over by Konate, dribbled out of bounds. He looked lost. That was all in the first half. It got even worse in the second. Bro, lost the ball playing and rang around the Rosie in the middle of the field. He almost made me put my foot through the TV. He had to get subbed off, bro. He was ass to it. I'm so glad he was subbed off. Konate put up a sturdy ass performance today against him, but that was also partially because Martinelli literally looks at the options in front of him and picks the worst one each time. Should Saliba have won man of the match over Konate? Eh, it's debatable. Saliba was just as good. I feel like Konate didn't get it because he was someone to blame for Arsenal's goal. There's also the fact that Saliba has Zinchenko stinking up his back four, so every good performance is automatically even more impressive in my opinion. Either way, those two were the best players on their teams today. This game was stupidly fast-paced. After the second half started, it was just back and forth and back and forth. I don't know how Liverpool didn't score because they kept taking the ball back in our half. As soon as we got it back, Endo would come flying in with a challenge. Then we cleared the threat and Zinchenko coughs up the ball or something. It's like they were actively trying to give me a heart attack. I'm gonna give it a buck. I don't have as much faith in Raya as I had at Ramsdale back there when it comes to shot stopping alone, especially against a team like Liverpool. I was convinced something was eventually gonna sneak past them. I don't know how the hell we weren't down 2-1 here. I really don't. They had Rice on our island. I really want to know what was going through his head at this moment. A 5-1-1, you're backpedaling, and Raya isn't exactly the most reliable guy around. He definitely ain't forget about Lewin. Trent finna be thinking about that miss to May. I would say I feel bad for him, but I would be lying like shit. I was geeked when that ball came off the crossbar. Jesus was nowhere to be found. Konate and Van Dyke were really huge back there for Liverpool. The center backs were the superstars of this game for both teams. Jesus just isn't as effective in games like this. It's the unfortunate truth. I wish I could push my ultimate agenda, but he's actually stinking it up real badly right now against Roma, so I'ma just shut up. Saka started off pretty well, but Gomez had him strapped a lot of the second half, I won't lie. That handball on Odegaard, eh. I'm gonna be real, it was low key a penalty. It's not an insane call because he did slip, but come on. If that was against us, we would be complaining about it for the next month. Let's not lie. Liverpool got a penalty call that went their way against Palace a little while ago too though. At this point, we gotta accept that there's no specific team with an agenda against them when it comes to penalties this season. The refs are literally just schizophrenic. I need several breathers after that game. We ran through like three splits while watching it, and that shit ain't calling my nerves at all. We're still top of the league, but we got West Ham next, and Liverpool got Burnley, so it's not looking too great. We came out of Anfield with a point, though. Something a lot of people can't say. I'll take that any day of the week. Villa got held to a draw a couple days ago, thankfully, so they're staying in third place. And City didn't even play, so they got a game in hand, but we're low-key starting to dust them. They're dropping points more frequently. My personal player of the match is Saliba. Rice was huge as usual, though. It was far from a perfect game, but it's one of the better results we could have got at Anfield. We got to face Liverpool two more times, but I'm pretty sure both games are at the Emirates, so we're more in our comfort zone. Let me know what y'all thought about the game. I'll take the draw, but bro, this could have been the biggest win of the year, if not for a couple mistakes.